Hi guys, my name is Abdurrahman and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect your business on Paystack to Google Sheets using Zapier. Now, depending on the type of your business, there are a number of different reasons why you might want to connect Paystack to Google Sheets. Before I show you how, I'll run you through a few interesting use cases of this integration. Now, sometimes transactions fail as a result of customer errors, insufficient funds in the customer's bank accounts, or in rare cases, technical errors. When this happens, you want to know about it so your team can follow up and help customers sort out this error. With this Paystack Google Sheets Zapier integration, you'd be able to log all field transactions into a sheet that your entire team can see. Another reason why you might want to use this integration is for simple bookkeeping solutions. With this integration, you'd be able to record every single sale your business makes via Paystack as rows on a spreadsheet. Another example of how this integration may be useful is that it could help you record every single customer that your business gains as rows on a spreadsheet. Now let's jump right into it. First, you come to zapier.com, which shows you this page. Next, you click on Make a Zap. Now when you do, it asks you to choose a trigger app, which is the very first app you'd like to connect Zapier to. In this case, Paystack. So you come here and search for Paystack. Click on it. And then it shows you this next page, which is asking you for a trigger. So it's asking you to choose a particular trigger. Now there are two triggers to choose from here. There's a new transaction trigger and the new customer trigger. So really, what this page is saying is, at what point do you want to trigger this Zapier integration? In this case, let's go with new transaction. So I'm saying, every single time I get a new transaction through Paystack, I want a certain action to take place. So I'm going to click on new transaction, save, and continue. Okay, so at this stage now, I'm supposed to connect my Paystack account to Zapier. How do I do that? I come here and con click on connect an account. Now this loads this page asking me for my Paystack live secret key. Now how do I get this? I go to my Paystack dashboard, come over to settings, go over to API keys and webhooks, and here you have it, live secret key. So you simply click on copy, and it's been copied. Now you go back to that page, and you paste your live secret key, then yes, continue. Okay, so what this has done now is, it has connected my Paystack account to Zapier. Now to test, you can come right over here and click on test. Success, so that means the pairing was successful and I can save and continue. Now to the next page now. It's asking for the status of transaction. So there are different types of transaction. There's um, a successful transaction, there's a failed transaction. So what type of transaction do I want to take an action on? In this case, let's say failed transaction. So every for every failed transaction, I want a certain action to take place. So you come right over here to this drop down. And then here is a successful transaction. Here are the failed transactions. So let's click on failed and click on continue. Okay, so here is a sample transaction just for me to be able to see that yes, it has indeed connected and found a field transaction. So here is a sample field transaction. We can click on this drop down and see that it's a field transaction and see some other um, properties of that transaction. So let's close this and go to continue here. Okay, so now the message is, I'm almost done, um, but my zap currently lacks an action step. So now let's add an action. So the trigger is, every time a failed transaction occurs, something should take place. So now we want to specify what that something should be. So we're going to click on add one now. Now clicking on this is asking me to add the action app. So the app where I want the action to take place. In this case, it is um, the Google spreadsheet. So I come over here and search for Google Sheets. 
here you go and now here are a list of actions to choose from now there are lots and lots of actions but here are the most popular ones so the very first uh, action is to create a new worksheet entirely or to create a spreadsheet row so this is assuming that you already have a worksheet and you want to create a row in that worksheet and here you can update a particular row in a spreadsheet so what we want to do here is to create a new row for every single field transaction that happens on my business so we go ahead and create and click on this scroll save plus continue now this next step is for me to connect my Google Sheets account to my Zapier account. So connect an account. And then I connect this particular account. And here there's this warning, Zapier wants to access your Google account. So I allow it. And then here I go. So again, I can test to see that Google Sheets is indeed connected to my Zapier account. So I can click on test here. And here you have it, success. So save plus continue. Now, since I'm adding a new row to an existing spreadsheet, first I need to create that spreadsheet. So I log into Google Sheets to do so. Click on the plus sign here. And here you have it, a blank new spreadsheet. So first let's name this spreadsheet. Let's call it Paystack Transactions. And now let's name the particular worksheet. Let's rename it to say failed transactions. Now, what are the properties of each field transactions that we're interested in recording? It depends on you, but in this case, let's say we want to capture the customer that made the field transactions email address, that customer's first name, last name, and a unique transaction ID that makes it easy for us to track that field transaction. So um, first, the customer's email, email address. Now let's collect the customer's first name, the customer's last name, and a transaction ID. So now let's go back to Zapier. And what this uh, page is asking is, where do I find this new sheet that you have created, right? So um, let's click on this drop down here to select the drive. And the correct drive is the My Google Drive. And now here it's asking for what particular spreadsheet. And the name of the spreadsheet is Paystack Transactions here. And now the name of the particular worksheet that we created, which is um, field transactions. So drop down, here you go, field transaction. Okay, so here now, these are all the columns that we created um, on the new spreadsheet. So email address, first name, last name, transaction ID here. Email address, first name, last name, transaction ID. So now Zapier wants to map these columns to actual values from um, the paystack transaction, the field paystack transaction. So um, when you click on this button, it's going to show you a sample field transaction and you're going to be able to map one of the properties of that field transaction to here, email address. So let's click on this and here you go. These are the properties of a sample field transaction and here you go so here is the customer email which is the property that we want to map to email address so we click on customer um, email so we do same thing for the first name too we come here click on this button and here you go customer first name you map it and here for the last name you click on this same button and look for customer last name you map it and for the transaction id so um, at, in Paystack, um, the transaction ID is called reference, um, re the reference, the transaction reference. So we scroll all the way to the bottom, and here you go. So this is reference. So now you've, we've been able to map the transaction ID to reference. So it means um, every single time when there's a field transaction, the reference is going to be recorded as the transaction ID. 
um, the last name as the last name and so on and on and on. So um, here we click on continue. Okay, so now this page is asking to send test spreadsheet rule to Google Sheets. So let's scroll all the way to the bottom and click on send test to Google Sheets. So here we have a success message that the spreadsheet rule was sent to Google Sheets just now. So let's go to Google Sheets and see for ourselves. Okay, so here you have it. Now from this rule, we can tell that a customer named Alani Smith with the email address alani at demo.com and this transaction ID tried unsuccessfully to pay to my business. So now I can use this transaction ID to locate the particular transaction and then do a sort of follow-up with Alan Smith. So let's do just that. Let's copy this transaction ID and go to the Paystack dashboard. So you can come here to Transactions and filter to show all transactions. Filter. And then put in your reference number and hit on Enter. So here you have it. This is the field transaction. So let's click on it and see more information about it. So here we can see that Mr. Alani tried to pay 100 Naira and that the transaction failed because there was no sufficient fund in Mr. Alani's bank account. So um, here we can come back and then send an email to Alani at demo.com saying, hey, Mr. Alani, um, you tried to buy this thing, but your transaction failed because you had insufficient um, funds in your account, could you please try to pay using another bank account number or some other similar message? Now, if at the point where customers are paying you, you also collect phone numbers, you could also put a phone number column here where you put like phone. And if you um, collect phone number, you could make Zapier populate this column with the customer's phone number and then do a simple phone call instead um, of an email. So it's totally up to you. You can collect um, as much information as you want from your customer and you can make Zapier populate this shit with whatever information you collect with your customer. So let's go back to Zapier and close this. So here um, we've tested, we've seen that it works. So we can click on finish um, to finish this. Yeah, so here now, um, before this goes live, we can name our zap. So let's name the, let's name it um, field transactions, and then the zap is currently off. So this is a toggle button. Let's click on it. Okay, so now the transaction is live. And what this means is that every single time a customer makes a payment that fails, I'll see all of that customer's information in the sheet we just created and be able to do a follow-up with this customer to get them to retry um, the payment. So there are lots and lots of other really creative ways that you can use this Paystack Google Sheets Zapier integration. This is just one example out of many. All right. Thank you so much for staying with me.